I got a DM from Christine from Simply Neological. She's doing a collab with David's Tea. Let's see what she's doing. I actually haven't done an unboxing for a while. Oh. Oh my, look at this. Now I know she's a tea granny. For some reason, I wasn't thinking tea. I was thinking nail polish with like tea names. <laughs> Like, did you think of that, Caravan? Like, no, actual tea? Well, I love tea, so. I know you do. I was ready to paint my nails with some cool colors, but let's have some tea. This is pretty cute, and I like that a lot. Okay. I'm a tea granny, so this is perfect for me. This one here, Simply Maple Breakfast. This sounds really yummy. Okay, what's in here? This is some more tea, maybe? I mean, I don't read anything. I just open it. It's, oh yeah, it's too heavy for cheap. Oh, look, it says mug right on the box. Okay. I love a new coffee mug or a tea mug in my case. Right, cameraman? Oh, oh look, you do. look, look, look. Oh yeah. My favorite mug. I love it because it keeps the tea hot inside, but it's cold on the outside so you don't burn your hands when you're holding your tea. So this really does keep it very hot. Oh, nice, love that. And there's a little, oh, okay. You might not know this cameraman, but this is a loose tea. Okay, cameraman, oh, yeah. are you listening? I'm listening. So, oh, 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 there's another little thing in here. Oh, there's lots of little goodies in here. <laughs> okay, this is the lid. So did you put that like, okay, yeah, it fits right in there. Look at that. They thought of everything. Okay, so this is a loose tea, Caraman. You probably only mostly know the bags, right? Yeah. yeah. You know what time it is? Tea time. Tea time. Let me go get my kettle, because we gotta taste this. Okay, so I got my nice hot tea kettle full of hot water. Okay, I am gonna read the instructions, the directions right now, because I wanna make sure I get the right amount of tea. Okay, this is awesome. I can't wait to taste this actually. Okay, so it does say for a cup of water, one to two perfect spoons. So this guy, <laughs> I don't like my tea really strong. So I am gonna just have the one. Oh, I got a little pair of scissors. Don't wanna break this little seal though. So I will just have the one teaspoon or one spoonful here. Oh my God. Oh, that smells so good. It, it, oh, it smells so sweet. Okay, let's take this little lid off. Do it properly. That's what tea is, it's proper. That's one pretty nice spoonful. Pour it in there. Okay. It smells really good. Okay. Let's pour it in here. What a perfect cup size. Alrighty. Oop. Okay. Now we let it steep. And I'm sure, let me see, maybe they have, oh, three to five minutes, but you know what? Let's wait three to five minutes, but I thought I was doing nail polish and my fingernails were all ready to, to sample some nail polish, but she did send some other ones the other day and I haven't got around to opening them and looking at them. So maybe we could do that. We're waiting for this to steep. Look at this card. Wow. Christine's having a lot of fun making this tea collab. Really cute. That's awesome. She's even wearing the color that the David's Tea Color brand on her nails. That's so cute. Love it. Christine just sent these recently. Like, I just got these in the mail a couple days before I got the David's Tea box. So let's take a look at them. Okay, now I wasn't really prepared to sample these, but we are waiting for three minutes. So maybe we should take a look at them. Let me just get rid of these boxes. Okay, I'm getting a real Christmas vibe with this collection, but the name, Para Don't Bother Me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm thinking Christmas, so that kind of threw me off a little bit. Let's take a look at it. 
Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Now, I will say it goes on lighter the first time. This is a nail polish and it needs a couple of coats. You can always see a real strong color when you look at the bottle. But sometimes it doesn't always look that intense. But I can tell you, this will if you put two coats on. Absolutely stunning. That is gorgeous. Let's check out the next one. Really pretty. And again, it needs two coats so you can get the true color. All, all nail polish needs, you need two coats with that. It's absolutely stunning. That's a pink Christmas. Oh, let's see the name. This one is called... Birthday Brat. <laughs> so she's not going for Christmas names, but they definitely are a Christmas feel, in my opinion. I mean, it is just before Christmas too, so we're definitely going to be able to use these for Christmas. This one is called Gosh Garnet. Oh, That's really rich. beautiful. What's that, Carmen? That's rich. Really rich. I really love that. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's beauty. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to see this one. This one is closer to my brand of color for my brand. So I will love this one extra special. And it is just called Happily Ever Aqua. That's cute. Making up names for, your, for polishes and gel polishes and stuff is so much fun. And again, I am trying to put this on thick because I really want you to see the color. I didn't plan on this, so I would have had prepared, but I didn't. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. That's an icy, icy Christmas, that is. Okay. Okay, this beauty is Ruby Madly Deeply. Okay, let's see what this one is. This is more of a redder tone. Whenever I think red, I like more of a deep, like really rich, like cranberry kind of. So this is, oh, okay. This is prettier on than I thought. I didn't really like it in the bottle as much. Like it's not really doing it for me in the bottle as much, but I think this is much nicer on. Oh yeah, especially that second coat. Again, really got to have that second coat. Very, very rich. That is really pretty. I love the tiny little glitters all floating together. Really, really nice. Okay, that turned out way nicer than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. And this, you gotta have this classic color for Christmas. Assuming this is for Christmas, but. Ride or diamond. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. You want to definitely get a couple of coats of that on. Look at that. So I'm thinking, nice. yeah, I'm thinking toes, like diamond toes. I think my favorite is this one, though. I think this one really grabs me. I really love that. Very, very intense and rich. Okay, I think my tea is ready, and I really want to get into it, so I'll leave that one for another one. Okay, let's check out this tea. Caramel, do you like tea? Or are you? Well, I, you're I more used of, to drink you're tea, a coffee but, drinker. Yeah, I'm kind of a coffee guy. Oh, this smells so good. You gotta have a smell of this. Okay, you really gotta smell this, Caramel. All right. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna put this off to the side here. I'll just put it right on there. You gotta smell this. Sorry, I can't wait to taste it. I can't wait for you to smell it before I taste have a smell. Doesn't that smell yeah. good? It smells so good. Give it back up on it. <laughs> Don't drink it. Yeah, it's not what I thought. Mm. I'm sorry, slipping a tea. Um, I don't think I've ever. I, was I, I have maple a lot of syrup kind of smell. Yeah, right? that's no. what it says on here. It's maple syrup. Well, it says simply maple breakfast. Yeah, it's much more delicate than that. A gluten-free so. oat too. Oh, that's good. Okay, I. I, I have, a, <laughs> I just redid my kitchen and I have a drawer that is dedicated just for tea. So you open it up and it's just <gasps> tea. The whole thing is just all my favorite teas. And I have a ton, don't I, Caramel? You do, yeah. Not one of them has maple in it until now. Mm, it's good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 
Okay, thank you, Christine, for my new special favor, tea. Thank you.